Good morning, I'm David Pohl. Uh, I'm the managing director of VectorVest in the UK. And at VectorVest, we show you how to make more money, uh, live better, and travel more. Uh, and we do that by finding the UK's top shares in the best performing sectors of the market when the general market uh, is rising. And uh, I'm going to start with the general market, folks. Uh, and uh, on the first slide, I, I've got the uh, VectorVest Composite of the UK, which is in fact uh, all of the 2,200 shares that we follow on the UK market, the main market, and on AIM. And uh, this morning, as we go into the trading day, this was at the close yesterday, uh, uh, the short-term trend of the London market is up, and the longer-term trend is up. And I think you can see those red and green triangles, which in fact uh, mark uh, the uh, long-term trend, uh, the, uh, the start of it, the green triangle, and uh, the red triangle, clearly the end of it. Uh, uh, the chart shows the sell-off, October, November, December uh, last year. And it shows this uh, great run-up that we've had, which is still going, which started in the 13th, I think, from memory of uh, January uh, this year. So all is good in the UK market. I see it's up 50 ticks this morning. Uh, the US market, uh, in a similar uh, situation uh, on the next slide, uh, again, the sell-off, October, November, December, and the run-up. Uh, markets uh, a little worried at the moment in that uh, although the uh, short-term trend of the American market is up and the longer-term trend is up, uh, the breadth of the market, by uh, measured by that line study in the window below the price, uh, shows the market, uh, the U.S. market rising on very poor participation, uh, and uh, uh, the uh, market rising on uh, quite a few large big cap Dow 30 stocks and not a great deal of participation uh, from the rest of the marketplace. So, But nevertheless, the trend is up uh, and the longest measure of the trend on VectorVest uh, is up. Now, folks, uh, I was on here uh, a month ago uh, on uh, June the 14th. And on June the 14th, uh, I talked about gold uh, and silver stocks. And uh, uh, I did that because uh, there was no great uh, insight on my part, but I did that because the gold sector on both VectorVest UK and VectorVest USA was right at the top of the uh, sort. In other words, uh, our, our program showed that uh, gold stocks were, uh, is where the activity was. And uh, over the last month, gold stocks have moved strongly up the page. Uh, we have user groups around the country. Uh, and uh, yesterday I was at our Oxford user group and the Oxford user group's uh, portfolio of gold stocks, uh, UK gold stocks are up 15% in the last month with no leverage at all. And uh, although the gold market is starting to look a little extended, I think there's still plenty to go in this gold bull market. The first slide is the American tracker, the GLD, which tracks the bullion price. And uh, that's the move up the page that we've seen over the last month. That's a weekly chart. So the last four uh, bars are, in fact, four candles are what's happened since I was on here last. And uh, as you can see, the technicians watching, we have pretty much textbook uh, cup and handle formation. And the handle, of course, was a falling wedge, which is a very bullish pattern. So that was a relatively easy setup. But uh, when I was on here a month ago, there was no real insight required. Uh, the gold sectors in both countries were at the top uh, on our sector viewer. Uh, and that's where the action is. And if we are small investors, folks, uh, our big advantage is being nimble to actually move quite quickly and quite easily to where the action is. Uh, the funds can't easily do that. Uh, on the next slide, I've got uh, the gold price. Now, I did this uh, late last night. That was the American close. I had to get these slides through to these guys, but that was the American close. And uh, as you can see, that move up the page over the last month. And then we moved uh, sideways into what technicians would refer to as a symmetrical triangle. And uh, over 70% of the time, the market will break out of that symmetrical triangle. And that's what's happened. Uh, my target uh, for gold uh, would be somewhere between 1456 and 1487. Uh, and if that takes place, then I think we quite easily have a pullback in gold. But uh, we are in a gold bull market, folks, and uh, it's a very exciting place to be. Uh, I think, uh, probabilistically speaking, there's an awful lot more upside. But I think that uh, after this push to maybe 1487, 
uh, is over, then uh, we could have a, a little bit of pull, a, a bit of a pullback, uh, which uh, in fact uh, will take a little bit of sitting through. Tech traders, I think, should be looking at taking profits up around the 14, uh, 80, 87 level if it gets there. But nevertheless, a very, very exciting time uh, for the gold market. I've lived through uh, quite a few of these over the last 35 years I've been in markets, not that many. Uh, but my word, there are life-changing moments in a gold market, a gold bull market. Uh, the next slide. Uh, <coughs> so it was an American share called Kirkland Lake, which uh, uh, VectorVest rates exceptionally highly in the American database. Uh, the green line above the candles is our valuation, and the blue line is earnings per share growth. And as you can see, uh, significantly undervalued earnings growing very strongly indeed. And I think that uh, it's broken up through a new high in the last day or two. And I think there's quite a bit more in Kirkland Lake on the upside here. A great, great, great share. Uh, uh, the next slide is a share that I talked about a month ago, Highland Gold Mining. Uh, it's uh, broken out of that uh, pennant formation, pulled back and kissed the trend line, which is always a strong technical feature. And now it's pushed up through the last old high made, what, a couple of years ago. Uh, and uh, it looks to me as if the, that uh, uh, flag pole, which is the vertical line on the left of the chart, that that can be repeated. So I think uh, still quite a bit more upside in Highland Gold Mining. Uh, Polymetal in a similar situation, which is the, the next chart. Uh, those technicians watch, uh, watching will note that the, the double bottom before the move up the page was an exact 78% retracement of the last move and the market pulled down in what technicians refer to as an AB equals CD move, and uh, moving up very straight. I think uh, a lot more legs uh, in that probably challenge the old high of that chart relatively soon. Uh, and the last one, uh, which is a, a small uh, South African miner, uh, Pan-African Resources, uh, after making that double bottom, starting to get uh, a nice move up the page here. This share very leveraged to the gold price, and uh, I think can move a long way percentage-wise. Nevertheless, it is the smallest of the pack that I've talked about this morning. And in the last slide, if you think gold is a relic, as somebody famous once said, uh, then uh, this is uh, an American uh, IT share, a payment company called Square, uh, run by the same chap who runs Twitter, Jack Dorsey. So uh, uh, Jack uh, runs uh, two uh, large uh, S&P 500 companies, Square and uh, Twitter, and uh, he's also engaged to a movie star, so things are going well for Jack. Uh, so a Square looks to me as if it's broken out of that triangle, and uh, it's moved up very, very strongly over the last few days. It's on a buy, a recommendation in VectorVest, and I think it's probably going to uh, break up through that old high. So, uh, folks, uh, VectorVest shows you uh, how to make more money, live better, and travel more, and if that excites you, uh, in central London in uh, well, next Saturday, uh, July the 27th, I'll be running a, a full day seminar that will show you how to easily use the professional tools in VectorVest to find the very, very best stocks and the best sectors of the market when the general market is rising. Uh, our big advantage, folks, is that we're nimble as small investors. We can move our money around the market into those areas of the market that are doing well. And I'll show you how to put that advantage to work. It's a full day seminar, uh, and uh, if you go to vectorvest.co.uk, just click on live events, and uh, you should see uh, the seminar details. Thank you very much. Have a great trading day ahead.